You said he turned over his passport to you months ago. What's good, what's good? Salute to y'all in the building. And I wanted to do this video while I'm out handling business. And I wanted to talk about why and how Diddy's lawyer sent him off like crazy, okay? So first off, this video is not caping for Diddy or anything like that. Uh, do I believe those charges are sauced up a little bit? Oh, yes. All right. Is Diddy out here trafficking? No, I don't think so. Uh, is he out here putting his hands on on people? Yes. All right. The video is out. Um, that's obvious, clear as day. And But that video with Cassie only showed assault, in my opinion. So these other charges, whatever. But that's what he get. I don't have no sympathy for Diddy. Uh, he was out here being undisciplined. Uh, I know he screwed a lot of people over. So, you know, he got what he got coming for him. But I do want to talk about this as, as far as how his lawyer sent him off. Because us, especially, you know, my demographic, black men, it is so important to be aware of the law and how this system works. Because Diddy got sent off by his lawyer. And I'm going to tell you how, okay? So... And lawyers and this is and lawyers are in the business to get paid. They're not in the business to help you, to keep you out of jail, to keep your freedom. They're in the business to get paid. And Diddy got sent off. Okay? I'm gonna tell you how. Now, Diddy, this investigation started, okay. This investigation started back in March. All right. This investigation started back in March and Diddy's lawyer knew about it. And so like his lawyer said, when they started off with the investigation, Diddy, by word of his lawyer, left Miami and came back to New York in March when this investigation started. So my thing is, and then on top of that, he surrendered his passport port to his lawyer. OK, so my thing is. Diddy, being dumb, gave his passport to his lawyer. Now, before I go any further, I'm not tr advocating breaking the law or anything, okay? But Diddy was under investigation since March, and his lawyer gave him the advice to surrender his passport, okay, so that he can look better, look better for the court case that's coming up, okay? Now, this is where the lawyer sent them off. Because Russell Simmons, when he started getting sued by these what did he do? He went to Bali, got out of here real quick, all right? When he found out it could possibly be an investigation. Diddy's dumbass, because his lawyer gave his passport up, surrendered it to his lawyer. Now, once again, I'm not advocating breaking no laws or anything like that. But, you know, he had the option to pull a Russell Simmons. OK, there is no law saying that you have to stay in the country while you are under investigation. OK, there is no law saying that you cannot leave. Now, I'm not advocating going on the run or anything. If there was a warrant issue, then you can't, you, you know, and you, you're done. But my thing is his lawyer told him to give him his passport even though there were no charges pending or anything. I want to get, and also this is not legal advice. If you need legal advice, seek an attorney. I'm just, my observation about these lawyers, his lawyer was not interested in seeing him free. Because if he was, why would, you don't have to surrender your passport to your lawyer. There's no law saying you have to give your passport to your lawyer. You know, the lawyer's talking about, oh, Diddy, surrender your passport. Then it's going to make you look better for your case. I mean, you got to think about it. If I'm a millionaire, almost a billionaire, and these people are trying to lock me up and possibly never let me out. Who knows what's going to happen at the bond hearing? He got denied bond yesterday. He's doing another bond hearing as we speak. And if he gets denied bond this time, then definitely his lawyer sent him off. Because he's never getting out, possibly ever, if he's locked up. So he has to weigh the options. I have a million dollars. I have a billion dollars. I can take the chance and fight this case. Or I can pull a Russell Simmons. <laughs> But it's lawyer's advice because his lawyer doesn't get paid if Diddy pulls a Russell Simmons. His lawyer doesn't get paid if Diddy leaves the country legally, 
as he could have done legally while he was under investigation because there were no warrants and no charges. Once again, not condoning any illegal activity, not condoning going on the run. We're talking about before charges were filed, his lawyer knew he wasn't going to get that payday if Diddy would have pulled a Russell Simmons. So instead he said, hey, give me a passport, Diddy, so you won't go nowhere and it's going to make you look better for the case. <laughs> Man, boy, them fed, them fed judges don't give a f Oh, Your Honor, he, he did the right thing. When he found out it was an investigation, he came back and don't give a f Your ass ain't going nowhere, nigga. But them lawyers, they're in the business to get paid first, not to make sure. Because a real nigga, a real lawyer, a good lawyer, is the only lawyer that's really going to rile for you. And there's some good lawyers out there. But the only lawyer, from my, this is my experience, the only lawyer that's really going to rile for you is a lawyer that's willing to go to jail for you or willing to take a huge hit for you, okay? Like the young thug lawyer, Brian Steele. And that's in general in life. The only people you who can really ride for you, the people who are gonna invest in you, ride for you, and 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 willing to put up some collateral. Everything else is just talk. That's a real friend. That's a real person riding for you. And I'm not saying lawyers are expected to do that. I'm just saying in general, you know, you can't pay somebody to have your best interest over more than you. Okay? And so, you know, <laughs> turn this AC on. You know, so I just noticed this. I was like, yo, like. His lawyer made him surrender his passport since March. This dude could have been, and once again, not condoning running from the law because I'm just saying before the charges were filed, before there was a warrant, the, his lawyer essentially walked him into the system, okay? His lawyer essentially walked him into the uh, system where he could have avoided it. The United States might not have even brought charges if he was somewhere else where they couldn't extradite him. So I'm making this video not to condone a K for Diddy because even though I think those charges are sauced up, he is moving reckless. He did a lot of people dirty. But what I'm saying is that it's, I would just found it funny how his lawyer just essentially walked him into jail, possibly never getting out. His lawyer gets paid anyway. His, the lawyer gets paid either way. So to have your best interest at heart, especially for my demographic, I find that and once again, it's not legal advice, but I find that's best when we know we study the law to the best of our ability to our for ourselves not on this sovereign citizen bs or any i'm talking about the actual real statutes and codes because the remedies are in there i'm just making this video because i just noticed how you know you know a diddy with his resources could have been somewhere they might not even brought the charges what probably would not even thought it was worth it you know because them charges are soft stuff once again he 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 is a menace now all right diddy's a menace no sympathy but you know, I just know how they do it. You know, how they how they got to, you know, sauce them things up to, to make sure it stick. That past magistrate said, we're not letting you go because of this quote, 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 unquote, guns and things like that. Witness intimidation. Because I do think that Diddy was sent off more as well because he contacted the one R&B bitch 54 times the day before he was locked up, he was still trying to save his image. He still thought it was a chance. Diddy probably, he might not even knew he was getting arrested. But his lawyer got his passport, can't go nowhere. Uh, lawyer told him to come to New York, walk right into the jurisdiction. His lawyer sent him off, man. All them resources he had. What's the point of doing all this work and gaining all his resources to walk to jail? At least make him come find you. You know, once again, not saying running from a warrant, but I'm talking about pre-charges before the charges are filed all this resources and you're gonna pfft. yeah okay that lawyer sent them off he should have he should have been right next to russell simmons doing the yoga yoga doing all that even though that stuff is fruity <laughs> all that fruity stuff he would have been free so i just noticed that like don't let these lawyers walk you into the gulag man these lawyers be trying to get black men to take plea deals and no, don't want to fight sometimes you got to fight for yourself this ain't legal advice I'm just, from my personal experience and from my observations, I'm just noticing how Diddy's lawyer literally walked that into the, <laughs> into the guillotine, all right? Once again, not condoning his behavior, not saying, you know, he's 100% innocent. I'm just noticing the procedural technical aspects. So anyway, uh, you guys know what it is. Uh, go to the site, check out the site, live streams. We'll be uh, streaming tonight or tomorrow morning. AmirLamir.com, link is in the description. Link is in the, maybe it's in the comments, I don't know, but it's gonna be somewhere on the video. All right, so you guys check that out for the live streams, uncensored. You know, we gotta censor ourselves a little bit when we 
do the mainstream content but we will be going live we're gonna be back on the regular schedule program i know i've been doing a lot of diddy content but you know i, I i'm in the law that's what my one of my uh, uh trades you know and so uh this is why this interests me so much uh seeing how they maneuver in, uh with these legal uh legal matters so anyway with that being said i'm out of here uh, Vermillionman.com. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all the new people. Um, and I get at you guys next time. Peace.